<clears throat> so now what we're going to do is we're going to go a little bit further with the shading of the tree. So I've already got a copy of the layer the tree's on. I'm going to unlock it, make sure that the transparent pixels are locked, and you can tell because the lock thing is clear, it's not filled, all right? What we're going to do now is just a little bit of a recap. We're going to take the burn tool, make sure we have the largest soft brush that we can, make sure the hardness level is way down, the exposure is at around 30%, we're talking about mid-tones now and protect tones we don't want checked because if it's checked we're not going to be able to make the tree darker and lighter so here's the source of light we come in here and we start darkening the side away from the light and when you get into small branch areas you have to go up and change the size of the brush so that you can go in and do this but always use the largest brush that you can so basically, you know how to, how to shade the dark side by using the burn tool. We're going to go on and do the dodge tool. The settings should be pretty much the same. We're working on mid-tones. The exposure is good, unprotect tones, that's not checked. So we're going to come in here now and we're going to take a little bit of light. And we're always working sideways. So where the light would be hitting the tree, we make it lighter and lighter. Again, you've got to go in and use smaller brushes to get into some of this area, but I don't want to talk about that now. What I want to do is talk about the light from the sky. So if you look at the water, it has an orange glow to it, and there's even magenta in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock, pretend I've already finished the tree. It's all done as far as light and shade. I'd lock, copy, and unlock the copy and work on that. And so the first thing I'm going to do is take the eyedropper to borrow uh, color from the image, which is the best way to get a unified image. And I'm going to click on the water here and notice that this color comes up here. So I'll click on that and maybe make it a little bit less bright, maybe there. So now I'll go back to the paintbrush, make sure we have a nice big brush size. We're going to set the color mode, and this is very, very important, not on normal, but on the word for tint. And the word for tint is color. We're going to bring the opacity down a little bit so it's not so bright, and the flow can be right around there. And we're going to test it out and see if it works. Remember, we're working on a copied layer where we've unlocked all and locked just the transparency. So here's the color we're going to apply. Now watch and see how it works. So as I come and I apply this color to the tree, what we're doing is we're letting the tree catch some of the color from the light reflecting up from the water and the light on the sky. And basically it will be showing up pretty much on the side of the tree where we have the most light always work sideways. So that's basically how to bring some color from the image onto the tree. And you probably want to copy your layer a lot of times and work on it and see what you can do. Now there's another thing that you can do and I'm going to turn this off, the eye, go back here and I'm going to copy the layer and show you something else that you can do. I'll unlock the, the lock all, make sure this transparent lock is on and then I'm going to do this. I'm going to go Edit, Fill, Foreground Color, which is this. I change from Normal to Photoshop's word for tint, which is Color. And I bring the opacity down around 30% to try it. So now what I'm going to do is fill the entire tree with a little bit of this color, but I've set it on the word color so that I tint it. Notice preserve transparency is still checked. So there it is. So let's compare this tree to this. And so you can start to see there are two ways that you can add color to a tree. As I've just done on this layer, I've filled the whole layer, which I'm going to turn off, and I'll go back up to this one where I've just used my paintbrush to throw a little color on the edge of the tree. So there it is, another high-level tool for you to know about.